Last time on Deceased here at Comic Storian, Darkseid invaded the planet and got exactly what he was looking for. The anti-life equation. And what did he do with that? Well, he started a virus that invaded the entire universe. He turned everyone into creatures. Creatures void of life. Very zombie-like creatures. And they infected and invaded the Earth of our heroes within DC. Quickly, the cities were lost. And many of our heroes went down. We lost Hell Jordan and we lost Batman. But so far, Superman and his family are still surviving, and a new Green Lantern has been chosen. But where do we go from here? This is the Comic Story and Channel, where we take some of your favorite trade paperbacks and single issues, we break down the lore within your favorite pop culture universe, and we tell you exactly what is going on there, bringing it to you as an audio drama. And today, we are bringing you Deceased Number 3. After Alfred was forced to put down an infected Batman with a shotgun, he stands in the Batcave, staring down at the bodies of the three men that he thought of as his sons. My boys, he intones softly. I'm sorry I couldn't save you, he whispers. Though they can no longer hear him, Alfred hangs his head, taking the steel case that Bruce entrusted him with, and he turns to climb aboard the Batwing. The plane streaks across the sky, flying high over the undead, teeming streets of Gotham City. Alfred reaches for the controls, his eyes determined now. And with a click, he releases the bombs, something that Bruce would never have used on living targets. But the people of Gotham, they're no longer alive. The bombs fall, exploding in the streets below, sending the once human population flying, limbs ripping free in the destruction and Harley runs as the building behind her explodes, rounding the corner and finding a survivor trying to defend himself. His shotgun goes flying as the monsters swarm him. She doesn't hesitate. She grabs her weapon and racks the flesh round in. Back off, I mean it! She yells and the monster that was once the Joker careens down the alleyway towards her, his hands reaching out. She turns, jamming the barrel into the Joker's stomach. Mr. J, you were never any good for me. She snarls, pulling the trigger. The shotgun kicks in her hand and the blast cuts the Joker apart. His body falling to the ground and Harley Quinn staring, shocked. My God, that was the most cathodic thing ever. She yells in triumph and she turns, striding down the alleyway. But she stops when she sees two heroes drop to the ground in front of her. Oh, come on. The zombie birds of prey? She groans as Huntress, Batgirl, Batwoman, and Catwoman land, their eyes blank, their bodies covered in blood. Harley nods as the creatures reach towards her, racking the shotgun once again. Really? Okay. She sighs. I guess we're going bird hunting. But on the rooftop of the Daily Planet, Damien sits against the wall, with John coming over to talk to his friend, but the young boy isn't in the mood. So John just sits with his friend. Is the kid gonna be alright? Oliver asks. And Superman nods as he looks at the two young boys. Damien is his father's son. He'll find a way to bury it and keep on going. But he just lost his dad. Finally, Clark turns to Lois, telling her, I have to go home. I'll secure the building first. Dinah steps forward, asking Superman if he needs any help, but Clark just shakes his head. Thanks, Dinah, but I'll manage. In a blur, he's gone, moving through the building at super speed. He grabs the infected, pulling them out of the building and dropping them into the streets. After the last of the infected are deposited outside, he flies upwards, ripping free the Daily Planet globe, dropping it in front of the exit. Landing on the rooftop, he gives his family one last hug before he goes, with Damien watching from his seat. Ollie, Dinah, please keep my family safe. Clark asks his friends as he takes to the air. Of course, Dinah tells him, the newest Green Lantern. Deep below the ocean, the tide swirls against the ancient city of Atlantis. Concentrate, Garth! Mara hisses. You can do this! You can push against the tides! And if you can't, maybe you should rethink the name Tempest! She tells him. From now on, your new superhero name is going to be Mild Weather Event. But the ocean around them grows darker, and the two Atlanteans look up. It's not the setting sun that darkens their day, it's the water itself. Blood is clouding the water around them as Aquaman, turned into one of the infected hordes, fights through the warriors of Atlantis. The blood seeps down, filling the lungs of Tempest, with Mera trying to warn him. But it's too late, and Garth suddenly roars as his brain is altered by the infected blood. His fingers begin to tear at the flesh of his face as Mera watches in horror. 
The infected rush towards her as she looks on with fear in her eyes. And as she begins to swirl the waters using her power, she screams out, You will not take me! She flees as all of Atlantis is consumed by the blood around her. But back with Superman, he flies towards Smallville. He can't help but stop and aid the survivors that he passed along the way. His breath saved a couple from the horde, and he later lifted up a school bus to safety. Along the way, he also found Black Lightning and his family, fighting an infected Clayface. The villain fell quickly, though, and Superman told the hero to head towards the Daily Planet. Finally, he arrives at his family farm. He arrives home. Martha stands in the yard, shovel in hand, as she stares at the barn door. Where's Pa? He asks, and his mother motions quietly to the barn, before telling him, He's inside. Gently, Clark opens the door, stepping inside of the cool building, and beneath his feet he can hear his father banging on the hatch to the root cellar. He reaches down, snapping the lock without any effort, and then he opens the door to reveal his father, crazed, covered in blood. The man who raised him reaches for him, thirsty for death and destruction. Clark takes his arms, sadness filling his face as he forces his father back into the cellar, and he shuts the door. His heat vision cuts through the door quickly. He steps back outside, his mother standing there in tears, crying. It's time to go, he tells her. But she shakes her head. We can't leave. This is our home, your father. She begins to cry as Clark lifts her in his arms. He isn't here, Ma. He tells her as they leave the place that he grew up. He isn't here. And that concludes Deceased number three. With Halloween around the corner, we intend on bringing these out to you in a hurry so that we can conclude it with you on Halloween. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get yourself more Deceased. We have issue four coming very soon. And you can also follow us on Twitter to chat with me about what you're enjoying about this twisted and demented zombie universe of the DC universe. I hope you're enjoying, and lastly, don't forget, you can also find us on YouTube memberships and on Patreon, where for the low price of $2, you can get early access to everything that we produce. All of your support is incredible, and we appreciate each and every one of you. Just taking the time to watch this video and leave a comment down below and give it a like means more to me than you'll ever realize. So thank you. And with that, I'll see you next time right here at Comic Comicstorian.